Hi everyone, Paul here from polymath.com and sitting beside me here I've got the Assault on Black Reach um, starter set from Warhammer 40k. Um, in the last video we uh, opened up the box, we dove in and saw what was uh, all the cool stuff that was inside. Um, in this video what I wanted to talk about is um, besides picking up this box, um, I want to talk about what else you're going to need um, in order to get started with this. So. Uh, what I did is I basically uh, made a list of all the uh, tools and accessories that you're going to need to uh, to get up and running with this, um, as well as the different paints, uh, paint brushes, and the different colors of paints that you're going to need to uh, um, to paint the Space Marines and the Orcs. Uh, so I'm going to split this into two videos. One is going to cover tools and accessories, and the uh, in the next video I'm going to talk about the paints and the paint colors. Um, just before I dive into this, though, uh, just so you know, you don't have to worry about writing all this stuff down um, because at the end of this video um, I'm gonna have a link at the bottom and it's gonna um, have a, a link to the page that I created on my website on my blog that uh, uh, that covers everything that I'm gonna talk about here I'm gonna list um, list off all the different things that you need and uh, have some links up there for you to uh, to find those items and uh, you can buy them online or, or find them at your local uh, gaming store so um, don't worry about having to write anything down. I'm gonna uh, cover that in my uh, on my site. So uh, the first thing that we're gonna talk about is tools that you're gonna need to uh, put this thing together. Um, so the first tool that you're gonna need is a pair of uh, side cutters, or sometimes they're called clippers, um, which basically look like this. Uh, I actually picked up this set before I got into Warhammer, so these are not actual Citadel um, side cutters, but. Uh, you can buy them uh, from Citadel directly. These ones work just as well. And the reason you need these is um, to remove the uh, the miniature pieces right off the uh, um, the sprues. Um, so it makes it a lot easier to remove them. You basically just use the clippers to kind of uh, take them off. Um, makes it easier than using um, a hobby knife or an exacto knife. Uh, the next thing beside that you're going to need is a set of files. So when you remove these uh, the pieces off the uh, the sprue, um, they're still going to be even though you're using clippers like this, they're still going to be a little bit of an edge um, where the um, uh, where the miniature was connected to the mold. So uh, what you do is you use a file like this. Um, there's two types of files I'm going to go through in a second here, but you basically use the file to just uh, file down the edge and make it smoother um, before you do the uh, um, before you do the base, before you spray it, and uh, before you paint the the miniature. So, this is the uh, there's a flat uh, file, and there's also a rounded file. I know you can't see on the camera; they look pretty much the same from this distance. But uh, basically, there's two types of file. There's a there's a, a flat edged one um, and uh, and a round one, just depending on what um, uh, you know what for what use. It uh, sometimes the round one can get into smaller. Uh, little tighter spots or whatever so um, so there's a set of files that you're gonna need um, you may need also a pair of uh, tweezers I actually don't have a set I used to have one I don't know I've misplaced it I'm gonna have to find it or, or buy another set um, the tweezers are not uh, not that critical um, if you're just starting out mainly they're used for um, uh, the transfer sheets so when you cut out the little transfers to put them on the uh, on the miniatures um, that's what you need the uh, the little tweezers to hold the transfer and pull it off and place it in the right spot. Uh, so a pair of tweezers is uh, is definitely useful, but it's not uh, it's not critical until you get to the point where you're putting the transfers on. Um, next thing you're going to need is a craft uh, craft knife or also called an exacto knife. Um, I don't know where I've put mine. Uh, I do know that that is a useful tool you're going to need. Um, just to sometimes uh, clean up some edges um, or just to slice things or whatever so um, definitely pick up a, a, an exacto knife or a craft knife sometimes they're called um, next thing we're going to talk about is glue so there's uh, a couple different types of glue out there the uh, the first type is uh, this one here which is plastic glue and this is used for actually uh, gluing together the uh, um, the pieces of the uh, the miniature. Now with this particular set um, these ones actually uh, they actually just kind of snap together so you don't actually need glue for uh, to put them together um, it's it's basically optional uh, 
some people still like to glue their miniatures even though they you know they kind of assemble and they snap together and they fit into the base without have, um, actually needing glue um, I like to glue mine so I picked up some glue um, I'm gonna I'm gonna need it for when I expand the armies anyway so um, so that's the uh, that's the plastic glue uh, the other type of glue that's out there is called PVA glue and this is used for the bases so um, when you're putting down um, when you're trying to attach the let's say sand or grass to the bottom of the base um, or little pieces to the um, uh, whatever little things that you want to put on the base um, you'll use the PVA glue uh, for that so uh, the next thing that you're gonna need is sand which is basically for the basing as well so how it works is you take the uh, you take the miniature with the base on it you put the PVA glue um, on top of the base and then you just dip it into the sand you take it out the sand sticks to the base you wait for it to dry and then you paint it so that's the um, that's what that glue is for and that's how the sand uh, works and um, the only other thing that I would uh, recommend uh, potentially is getting yourself a tape measure um, the this set comes with a set of these uh, rulers um, which work just as well as a tape measure you can you can use these um, but sometimes it is easier to just uh, have a tape measure um, which you can extend and it's I don't know it's uh, from what I heard it's actually it's easier to use that than these uh, these sticks but it's completely up to you uh, so that's pretty much it for the tools that you're gonna need for uh, for assembling this this set um, and in the next video I'm gonna go into paint brushes and uh, and what paint you're gonna need uh, now at the bottom of this video uh, right now you should see um, the uh, link to the website which is uh, www.polymath.com slash 40k um, if you go to that page um, I'm gonna have a, a list of the tools that I just talked about in this video as well as the paints that I'm gonna cover in the next uh, in the next video so um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet uh, there's a button above this video if you're watching this on YouTube uh, where you can subscribe um, feel free to subscribe and leave some comments at the bottom I do plan on running some contests in the future where um, I'm gonna offer uh, some free prizes to people who uh, to my subscribers and people who leave comments on my YouTube videos so um, you may want to take advantage of that alright so that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one